In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, Grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love, because the hearts of the holy ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself, so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer a slave, but more than a slave, a brother. Beloved, be especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, Welcome him as you would me, and if he has done, any, done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self. Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. 
there will be those who will say to you, look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off. Do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Joseph Mary Plunkett was an Irish nationalist, journalist, a poet, revolutionary, and a leader in the 1916 Easter Rising in Dublin, Ireland. He married Grace Gifford in 1916, just hours before his execution, which is memorialized in the wonderful ballad, Grace. He wrote a poem for Easter which says, I see his blood upon the rose and in the stars the glory of his eyes. Plunkett saw God's hand and presence in all of nature. He had a discerning eye for the deep diversity that's found in creation. The Pharisees that Jesus addressed in today's gospel passage seem to lack that discerning eye, unable to perceive signs of God's grace and work and presence already among them. These things happened in Jesus' ministry, in his words, and in his actions. And the presence of God continues among us in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. So let us pray that we will see with the eyes of faith that we may recognize God's presence and action in our midst. With trust in God's love for us, we now turn to him with these, our prayers of petition. For the church, that it may become more and more the realization of God's, of the kingdom of God's love in our midst, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our local communities, that they may build us up in their midst, the kingdom of justice which flows from love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for ourselves and our individual lives, that we may realize that the kingdom of God is within us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who, like the Son of Man, are suffering to bring the kingdom of God about. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for health and blessings for Virginia Carnes, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, we thank you for your many gifts, and we ask you to hear and answer the prayers we bring before you this day. We make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church, 
so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.